Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. I'm Alina Ghost and I have a 10 month old baby boy called Aiden and this video is all around his progress. Because we are in lockdown, I thought this is a great way to update you, our family and friends, and let you know how Aiden is doing. So thanks so much for coming on and let's get straight into it. Firstly, Aiden is now walking. He is 10 months old. He took his first steps at the end of nine months, but one day he just woke up and he thought, you know what, I'm just going to be walking around. So this is Aiden, a walking, taking steps and another step and another step but now he's actually moving around so freely so confidently that I've no doubt that he will be running around in no time. Aiden also started to babble. Dad dad. Dad dad. Uh, nan nan nan. Nan. Nan nan nan. Dad. Uh, mum mum mum. Mm. Oh, Malaitis, mum, mum, mum. Mum, mum, mum. Mum. Yes. Mm. So he's saying words like dada, nana, mama, and that's super cute. I am worried about the fact that he's going to be a late talker, but the fact that he's starting to babble. These are great signs to show that actually he is progressing in that language area. And actually, I am sure that he said Dada with a purpose the other day. So we were on the landing. I think we just woke up and got ready and we could hear Daddy staring in bed. And all of a sudden, I see Aiden turning around and going Dada, walking towards him. And it was like the cutest thing in the world. I wish I could have recorded it for you guys but we can only imagine because it was very sweet and it's really great to see that he's actually saying dada with a purpose. Although right now he's still saying things like nana when he's seeing daddy. So I don't necessarily think that it was his first word, but I'll give it to Chris. I think, yeah, it was, it was his first word, right? Dada? <laughs> Anyway, I think that's super lovely and yes, it's great to see that he is babbling away. If you've seen our vlog, you'll actually know that we've also moved up sizes. So we've put away our six to nine months clothes and actually most of our clothes are actually 12 plus now. So although we've got the nine to 12 months, we don't have too many of those and we went for 12 plus straight away, especially because he's such a big boy and he is growing out of it fast. He's already 10 months old, so I don't know where the time is flying honestly but yes if you've seen that vlog you would have seen that actually we've organized those clothes and he's moved up a size the other adorable things that he does is actually things like wave he also puts his hands on his head now which is so cute and daddy also taught him kisses so when I ask him to kiss me he will make a really lovely noise like this hmm mm. And there was actually the other day, he turned around and did that noise to me. So like put his like mouth on my cheek and just went mm, and it absolutely melted my heart. I got quite emotional actually because it was just so lovely. The other thing that he loves doing is playing peekaboo. Although he's not quite got it spot on, he is getting the motion. So he knows that if you're hiding and then you're coming out and you're like boo like peekaboo and this is something that he does himself as well he hides behind door frames and then jumps out to play that game so teething is a massive factor luckily we've not had any teething issues for the past week but we had had a few days where it was poor sleeping he was really needy um he was just chewing on everything he was dribbling away poor thing so clearly he was teething we would help him with things like um, Bongella, so for kids. Um, also cowpaw is a saviour, it's an absolute saviour. But I also had friends recommend other things, so there's like the stone um, bracelet that he's got. Um, I did buy it just a tad too big on him, so I ended up actually adding a ribbon to the bracelet just in case it falls out and he puts it all in his mouth because I did see him do that once and it scared me to death. I don't want him to like swallow it or anything. So I did add a ribbon to it just to make sure that if he does swallow it, I can just pull it out. And then the other thing are other medication 
for them so something a lot stronger we haven't bought it yet because you have to buy it from a pharmacy um, but I definitely do plan to do that if you've got any other suggestions for teething please do let me know in the comments below so because of teething, he now has about six teeth with more on the way because I can feel them. So he's got four at the top and two at the bottom. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, he probably has one more. So he probably has seven now. I think he's got one on the side. If it's not there, it's definitely coming out right now. He absolutely loves, loves, loves bath time. Bath time is so much fun. We've got so many toys from those foamy numbers and animals. We've got um, puppets, actually like finger puppets of farm animals as well. For Christmas we actually got him some bath toys as well and although he's just a tiny bit too small to actually play with them and understand them, I'm sure that in no time he'll actually start to use them and have fun with them as well as all the other things that we've got in the bath right now. I was astonished about this one. Firstly, he knows how to use a remote control. If you follow us on Instagram, you will see that he managed to pick up the remote control, turn around to look at the TV and then start clicking away. So I don't know if that's normal, but he's 10 months old and he knows how to use a remote control for goodness sake. What is this generation coming to? And apart from that, he also knows how to use mobile devices. So whether it comes to a phone or a tablet, he takes out his little finger and just like swipes. He knows how to swipe up and down and he knows that actually that there's going to be something on the screen if he does that. Isn't that amazing? The other motion that he can do is actually shake his head for no. This is something that daddy taught him. So each time he's doing something that he shouldn't, daddy will be like, Aiden, no. And we found out pretty quickly that after a while, he started to repeat the motion as well. So he knows that if he goes to like the dog corner, for example, because the dog has lots of toys under the stairs that we don't want him touching because they're dirty and hairy and muddy, you know. So when we tell him no, he ends up going to that corner and shaking his head. The other thing about teething is that he started to bite everything and everything I mean us as well. So not only our skin, but he ends up actually biting my shoulders, especially when it comes to like jumpers and things. And pairing that with the motion that daddy says about no, we managed to video to show you that he's biting my shoulder because he's teething. And when we're telling him that he shouldn't do it, that he shakes his head. Aiden. Aiden, no, no, no. Oh my goodness, we found out that actually when it comes to toys, Aiden absolutely loves playing with balls. So he is now a footballer. He can actually hit the ball with his foot after being shown how to do it. I think that's so amazing. So not only is he able to like trying to throw it, so he, he sort of drops it rather than throws it, but that's when it comes to the little ones, little balls. When it comes to the big football, he ends up actually standing and trying to kick it around the room. And actually we found that this is the toy that keeps him engaged the longest. And I think that's really interesting because I don't think I know any other toys that he's got where he's able to just concentrate on that and play with it for a very long time. Other toys that he likes are things like um, those wooden toys that we've got with the hammer. So he loves to pick up the hammer and hit the cylinder things or sticks, whatever they are. And that's after we showed him how to do that. So that's great. He's able to repeat the motion that we're showing him. But also it's interesting to see that he understands that he should be hitting those because then they go lower and lower. Other toys that he likes are probably more musical ones or those that light up and engage with him. So he loves his gamer controller that he's able to um, press the buttons on, it lights up, it sings. And there's also things that are emotions. So we've got a wooden toy where you 
put the car at the top and then the car slowly goes down to the bottom. Other things that he likes to play with that are not toys are kitchen utensils. Those things are amazing. So I have done a vlog on this around how to create a yes space in the kitchen. And basically I was able to create a few um, drawers and cupboards full of stuff where he can pull them out and play with them. And actually that keeps him occupied really well as well, especially when I'm trying to chop things up for dinner and cook. He's just about learned how to come off the sofa as well. So this isn't something that we showed him. It sort of just came out naturally. He's just such a mover that he was able to like wriggle his way out of the sofa and actually go down onto the floor without hurting himself. Aiden does not like the car seat. And to be honest, we did change his car seat um, about two months ago because it was getting quite tight. He is a big boy. So we managed to get him out of the newborn car seat and buy him a bigger one. So firstly, he absolutely loves looking forward. So he does prefer having a car seat that's front facing. He also loves having the leg room. In my opinion, I feel like he seems a lot more comfortable having that leg room there by having the car seat looking to the front. He is quite a tall boy, so that makes absolute sense. The other thing about the car seat though, is even though we changed the car seat to a bigger boy car seat, he still doesn't like being constricted. So he is a mover, as you know, and he doesn't like sitting down for long periods of time. So I think he just doesn't enjoy the car seat in general. I was quickly gonna mention his food and sleeping patterns. So firstly, we are not a very good sleeper in the sense that he has never ever slept through the night. So for months he's been going to bed from around 8pm but actually recently for about two weeks now he started to go to bed much earlier around that seven o'clock mark. So we start getting ready for bed around half six and then he's in bed and sleeping by like seven. I can guarantee that he will wake up between 10 and 11 for feed, then he'd wake up around 1 or 2 a.m. and then after that it'll be around 4 or 5 a.m. and then he's ready to wake up either it's about half past six or seven. Although I have had a few days in the past couple of weeks where he woke up about half seven and that was an absolute dream to have a little bit of a lion. So that's his sleeping pattern. And yes, he does nurse for most of that time that he wakes up. But actually, I just feel like he's not used to going back to sleep on his own just yet. I do think he got a lot better and I think I'll do a video on that specifically later on in the future. But I do think that there's been such an improvement where actually he is sleeping for longer periods of time even though he wakes up for those feeds. So when it comes to those feeds, we actually don't breastfeed during the day anymore. So it's all during the night time. So before he goes to bed and then two or three times during the night. He is an eating machine. He loves to try out new things, even the sour things. He obviously likes the sweeter things as well. And we have been a little bit naughty and offering him like birthday cake or like um, mince pie, just tiny bits here and there, a little bit of biscuits, which we know we shouldn't, but we do have some very healthy options as well, don't worry, especially if you're like an auntie or an uncle watching and you're telling us off right now. <laughs> so, the final thing that I was going to mention is the fact that we are in lockdown, which means Aiden spends most of his time with us, his parents, or the dog. What does that mean? That means that he started to do things that only a dog should do. <laughs> so for example, he started to chew on cardboard. Something that Casper does is just break up boxes. We actually did a video on this where I gave Casper treats within the boxes. So he breaks up the boxes, gets the treats. But he also chews on the cardboard itself like as if it was a toy. No, he doesn't always eat it. Yes, sometimes Casper does end up eating some of that cardboard, but most of the time he does just spit it out. But that's a problem because what happens is that Aiden goes towards those bits that Casper has chewed out and then puts it in his mouth. Yes, it's a bit of a problem and yes, it's very strange. I don't think I know anybody else who's done it. Has anybody else's baby acted like a dog? 
<laughs> I feel like this is like a Mowgli situation. But apart from acting like Casper, he absolutely loves playing with Casper. I have so much footage of them two just playing together. Aiden is able to take the toy out of Casper's mouth and imagine how big that mouth must look to Aiden and then give him the toy back, play with him and Casper doesn't mind at all, touch wood. It's so amazing and it's so adorable and I can't wait to show you some footage of that. So thank you so so much for joining me on this video. It's a little bit of an update on Aiden, especially as I know family and friends can't see him. So I hope that this is a really good way of seeing his progress. Can't wait to be out of lockdown soon. We can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching this. And we'll see you soon.